we'll, we'll let Breed here a little bit and like listen to the uh, the play-by-play -play as Mission Control uh, chats with the, uh, the pilot up there. 17,000 feet in altitude. Endeavor flying at 400 miles per hour. Transceivers on Endeavor are interacting with stations on the ground to provide the best available range, elevation, and azimuth. KSC runway 15 is in sight. Houston copies, field in sight. One and a half minutes to touchdown. Less than 10,000 feet in altitude remaining. Endeavour's descent rate is 20 times higher and 7 times steeper than a commercial airliner on the final approach. One minute to touchdown. Endeavour's landing gear will be locked down in place at 300 feet in altitude. Okay, so pretty cool as we listen in here to uh, Mission Control uh, guiding in the Space Shuttle Endeavour. It's supposed to touch down at 1048. We've got about, by my clock, 40 more seconds. Uh, and they definitely are trying to do this on time, right? Even though they had to wait until just about the last minute uh, because of the rain showers. Uh, weather is always obviously an issue, but we see uh, the Endeavour here trying to uh, level out a little bit. 30 seconds to touch down. 30 more seconds. Let's see. Coming down, obviously, to Florida's. Kennedy Space Center. Landing gear is down and locked. Uh, Doug Hurley now deploying the direct chute. And Commander Mark Polanski rotating the nose gear down to the deck. Nose gear touchdown. Endeavour rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 6.5 million mile mission. Wow. How gorgeous is that? It's perfect, it's right? First landing at the Kennedy Space Center. I never Endeavour get tired of that, uh, or the launch. The launch is a little bit more dramatic, but that's, uh, that, that certainly uh, takes your breath away as well. You remember the last, uh, the last landing we had, we had weather problems. And, yes. and they, uh, they tried several times. They had delayed it. Uh, uh, a couple of days, as a matter of fact, and then they finally had to touch it down, uh, I think, uh, over there in California. So, And then that's a multi-million dollar uh, jockey ride to Ex get it back to the Space yeah, Center. Exactly. So they saved themselves quite a bundle by uh, landing it at the Kennedy Space Center. And uh, uh, as you mentioned, there were some worries. This is the time of year where thunderstorms can easily pop up in Florida, usually in the right. afternoon. Uh, but uh, pretty strict criteria. The, the, the clouds have to be at least 8,000 feet. You can see the sun shining there so, and the, and the right. rainfall, if any. There you hear uh, superb yeah. mission from beginning a superb to end. mission from beginning Very to well end. Done. We're still hearing uh, from uh, NASA there and Mission Control. Well, Very good. Uh, Kennedy Space the Center there. Uh, instead of Edwards, back. which uh, Rob was talking about, where yeah. oftentimes I have to divert, if you will. So the mission lasting 16 days, spanning 6.5 million miles. All right, congratulations, NASA.